versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin for Doomhammer. Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, and welcome back to some Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. And I'm trying out a new Shaman deck. It's based around the Death Rattle, so it's nice to see that I get an Undertaker here, uh, two Undertakers, in fact, on turn one. Which, well, now that I think about it, should I drop both of them? Maybe I should try that. It's a, uh, it's a weird move, but one that could be. Uh, pretty interesting here. So let's let's drop double Undertaker turn one, and uh, if we could pump both of those up, that could be pretty interesting, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what the deck is based around. It's based around these Undertakers, some Death Rattle minions, and then of course Baron Riven there as well to hope for good uh, double triggers. Unfortunately, unless you've got the initiative, it's it's a pretty bad deck I uh, gotta say this and he's already silencing one of them so he immediately counters my attempt here but uh, one of them still bumping up so we'll we'll continue based on just a single one um, and it needs a, a lot of work uh, this I've only played a few games and there we go he immediately destroys both of them so he's, he has the right counters which is uh, quite unfortunate. Uh, we'll we'll drop a Death Lord. Let's um, if the Death Lord can protect my Flame Tongue Totem, we could actually get some uh, some good damage in. The Doom Hammer is going to help with control as well, I think. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, two four. That's all right. And does he leave his mana, or does he have something? And this is like one of the problems with this one. Um, yep, we'll drop you. We'll get rid of you like that. Attack here and then we'll uh, go for a totem. Um, at the moment, a lot of these actually have drawbacks. And so I need to see if maybe I need to switch some of them out for better ones. You know, s uh, the Sludge Belcher is, is an incredible card. Uh, outcomes. Okay, not unleash the hounds. Interesting. All right. I mean, this is going to cost me some health, but this is actually okay uh, because I can actually get rid of this stuff. So we'll uh, get rid of you cheaply. Then we'll get. Let me see. How am I going to do this? Uh, actually, then might as well go like this and uh, like this, leaving my uh, my leper gnome with uh, doing a lot all of the work on uh, on the opponent here. Pretty interesting. Uh, next up, probably just a sludge belcher here. Um, okay, we can get rid of that. Do you gamble something or? Scavenging hyena, all right, and the river crocolisk. Interesting, because I'm just gonna do the exact same thing again, obviously. Uh, so we'll get rid of you. Oh, no sludge belcher just yet, but it's still, it's still okay. Um, what totem do I draw? And he gives up. Oh, and I actually draw <laughs> the healing totem, which was perfect uh, for this taunt. Uh, so, wow, pretty uh, pretty good despite losing both of those very, very important minions uh, early on. So maybe I should not have dropped both of them at the same time. Still, that was, uh, that was pretty much the way I want the deck to work. Uh, but um, it needs some refining. So let me maybe quickly show it to you guys here. Uh, Rockbiter weapon for control, Leper Gnome, and then the two Undertakers, of course. Uh, I did take two Reincarnates in the right combination later on with uh, a Baron Riven there, this can be very strong. Uh, for instance, if I could use this on, on the uh, Belchers. Uh, next up we've got Blood Mage Talnos. I've, it can be good, but I may need some more spells to really make that one worth it. Flame Tongue Totems, um, they can really 
give your minions the boost up early on to maintain board control very important and awesome card i think 200 creepers two loot hoarders um one hex oh i may want a second hex in there and then uh, a lightning storm so i may need to do something about um uh, about uh, the spells so then we have uh, two dancing swords two death lords two harvest golems so maybe like get rid of the da dancing swords or something uh, a manatite totem um, baron riven there doom hammer two sludge belchers and two fire elementals it's just the first attempt there's a lot of work that i still need to do about this deck um, but uh, yeah it's it's a lot of fun and it's I, I don't think something you see too much and i also think it might have potential maybe switching out a few of those bad death rattles for some uh, control spells um, oh actually don't want to go to my collection but let's go to the shop and buy a couple of uh, buy a couple of cards since we have 400 gold again and there we go and i will open up the packs to end the video with so here we go what are you blessing of wisdom not useful ancestral spirit i don't think that's useful anymore venture co mercenary no wrath and nope so all of these are triples that's a lot of a good amount of dust with the venture co there another mana worm useless useless ice barrier i think it's useless upgrade that one yeah might just be the upgrade might be the only one that's been useful so far next up we've got dread corsair i think it's a third that's definitely a third circle of healing is a third Shadow Madness, gain control of an enemy minion, that's probably a second. And then that's a third, the knife juggler there. So yeah, I'm really starting to fill my board. Um, I heard that the, the next expansion Blizzard wants to do for Hearthstone actually will add like 100 cards or more. Uh, Sunwalker, if that's my second, that actually makes the four card packs worth it. And I think it's my second, so uh, that's pretty good. Another Ice Barrier, definitely have two of them now. Power Overwhelming, that's a third, and Light Spawn, that's a third. But yeah, the, the Sun Walker, that's okay. I feel this is this is one of those extremely strong cards. Uh, not in every deck, but it's, it's just a really good and strong card there. Worth it to have uh, another one of those. Anyways, that's it, guys. A new deck I'm going to play around with. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.